world is finally catching up with Elaine Ingham. She has been out in front of talking about the soil food web for a long time, and I'm really excited to have her take us to the next level where we figure out how does the soil food web help us in an urban environment. I'm excited to talk to the folks that are attending the Soil in the City conference um, because they need to know this information. They need to get away from putting toxic chemicals out on the soil on their property because uh, we've got to get nature functioning again. What I would like people to take home with them is the understanding of how important biology is and what biology are we talking about. We're, we're bandying about this term, biology is very important, but you have to understand the role and functions of all of the different groups of organisms. It's not just bacteria. It's the fungi, protozoa, the nematodes, the microarthropods, the mycorrhizal fungi, the spiders, the voles, the shoes, the mice, the, you know, on and on and on we can go. It's a food web. And so which organisms play what roles? What's uh, probably what's most interesting to me about urban situations is we're dealing with ecosystems that are collapsed into very small systems. We're looking at the whole range of successional processes, successional states. We're trying to grow things that are extremely early succession right next to something that's further along in succession, right next to our turf, right next to our shrubs, right next to our trees. And we may be going through the whole range of successional states within one person's yard, within a hundred feet. And we are very small scale managing all these um, conditions. And that means you have to have expertise and that have, you have to understand what the biology is supposed to be in each stage and maintain it. Let those systems um, set them up so that they function all by themselves. So but we don't have to do the work. We don't have to be out there messing around. When you've got a problem in your yard or in your urban landscape, What's Mother Nature trying to tell you? Because she is trying to send you a message. We just haven't figured out in previously. We have not figured out what does it mean. We're starting to figure that out. And that's part of what I want to teach people in my classes, in my course. There's so many aspects to answering that question about soil, water, carbon interactions and how the biology is important in that, that I, I can't answer it in one simple sentence. You really have to come to my talk. And by the time we're done with the talk, you'll be able to list the 25 or 30 different reasons that it's critically important to understand that biological component. I'm giving away secrets. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, it's good.